of Oxford's oldest colleges comes a Rhodes Scholarship winner from the prairie lands of Manitoba. It's the beginning of term, and naturally it all seems rather strange to him at first. New surroundings, new friends, a whole new world to explore. remarkable impact. But we can't rest on our laurels. We need to grow and change to meet new challenges in the 21st century. I'm just one person who, through these gifts, has been given an opportunity to come here and learn these things that I can go home and could hopefully change the lives of thousands of people. From day one, I realized that this was a really like, warm and dynamic group of people. In some ways, it's sort of removed from the world, but a perfect place to connect with other people. The major problems that are facing the world today are all international and interstate in nature. These are problems that require global solutions with people from different countries working together. And I think the Rhodes Trust is a fantastic place to start. And so it's, it's, it's the community actually. When I came here, I found my friends from the social sciences, engineering, technology. You get to know about all the different subjects, which is actually very important for a leader. It's not a scholarship just for academics or for people who are sporty. It, it's looking for a person that has leadership potential um, but also has a heart, I think, of service. Right now the big change in the Rhodes Trust is, in the Rhodes Scholarship is, the scholars themselves are starting to take care of the house. So the family of Rhodes Scholars now are becoming trustees, a majority of the trustees are now Rhodes Scholars. So now it's gone from a sort of established trust of the legacy of one man to really the legacy of the 8,000 scholars to date. Let's work together to secure the existing scholarships, to expand into new geographies where leaders are desperately needed, and to use the Rhodes idea to bring people together to work on the world's most pressing.